Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. You're watching Sandhya OVG Study Point. So in today's video, we will discuss about the mechanism of lever. Okay, so first of all, you should know what are all the principles of uh, mechanism of lever. Okay, uh, these are all the principles should be followed to deliver a baby normally. Okay, so first of all, let's see what are all the principles. So as you can see in this one, uh, I'm just telling you one by one, like the lie, how, I mean, what should be the lie of the fetus inside the womb. Okay, so the lie should be longitudinal. Okay, and the presentation should be cephalic. As you can see here in this one, the presentation is cephalic. Okay, and the presenting part should be vertex. Okay, so as you can see here, this is the vertex and the presenting part is vertex here in this one. Okay, and next is the attitude. Okay, um, what should be the attitude of the fetus? Of course, flexed. So now talking about the denominator, the denominator should be occiput. Okay, the denominator should be occiput and the position of the fetus should be LOA, left occiput anterior or right occipital anterior. Okay, so now talking about the mechanism of lever, so there are specifically nine cardinal movements in that. Okay, so first one is engagement when the fetal head will be engaged with the female pelvis. Next is descent, descent is the uh, process which is happening throughout the lever. Okay, next is flexion. Okay, in the flexion, the fetal head will be flexed, completely flexed. Okay, so as you can see here, okay, so this is the placenta. Okay, so fetal head will be like, uh, okay, so it will be going like this uh, before the flexion. Okay, and at the stage of flexion, the fetal head will be flexed like this. Okay, so this is flexion. After that, the internal rotation of the head will be taking place. Fine. And after that, the crowning will be taking place. Crowning is the uh, stage in which the fetal head will be shown. Okay, and it won't go back to the uterus. Okay. And after that, the extension will be taking place and then restitution. And after restitution, the internal rotation of shoulder and at the last, the lateral flexion. Okay, so like this, the baby will be delivered out of the uterus. Okay, so now I'll give you a quick demo for this. Uh, first of all, the descent will be taking place. Descent, as I earlier told you, that the descent is the process which is happening throughout the labor. Okay, so uh, with the help of the downward position of the baby, the occiput of the fetal head will be on the iliopectineal eminence like this, and the sagittal suture of the fetal head will be in between the right oblique diameter okay right oblique diameter and the societal suture will be between the right oblique diameter like this okay and the shoulder of the baby or the fetus will be between left oblique diameter like this okay so this is the internal position of the baby like this okay? so this is the engagement and after that the flexion will be taking place okay in the flexion before the flexion the sub occipital frontal diameter was there uh, which was 10 cm after the flexion the sub occipital uh, frontal diameter will be sub occipital pragmatic diameter that is 9.5 cm okay and after that the internal rotation of the head will be taking place which the uh, head of the baby will be coming in front of the symphysis pubis like this okay and after that through the process of the descent the baby will be going downward and it will be showing as a crowning okay in the crowning as i earlier told you that the fetal head will be shown okay and in the crowning stage the fetal bone tree going inside okay this is the crowning after that the extension will be taking place the head of the baby will be delivered out with the extension okay after that the restitution will be ta taking place restitution is a position in which the baby's head will be going along with the shoulders inside okay and after that the internal rotation of the shoulder will be taking place the internal rotation of the shoulder will be taking place like this and after that the lateral flexion will be taking place and the baby will be delivered out like this so it was all about the mechanism of labor. I will see you in the next one with a new topic. Till then, goodbye and take care.